Sadiq is on. We're going to check on it in 10. It's 5-2. Yes. So I have to, so let's talk. Let's go to the, first of all, again, whoever's just like tuning in right now, um, obviously Sarah um, and her family and the crew and the cast from Schitt's Creek cleaned up at the Emmys last night. And it was like one of the most beautiful and exciting things that I've like witnessed and been a part of in a really long time. And just watching you celebrate your brother and your father and obviously everyone that you work with, it was like so emotional. I told Sarah, I was like bawling my eyes out. <laughs> Watching your stories, it was because I was watching your stories. Like, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch your stories. You will cry. Um, tell me about, tell me about Shit's Creek. Tell me about your family. Tell me about how the show started. Like, I'm so curious. Oh Let me know. It is so. This whole thing. I mean, listen. I my you know my dad is um, you know has incredible ideas, and my brother has incredible ideas, and. Um, and and Daniel has always, I mean, literally ever since I I can remember, he has always been such an entrepreneur. He's always been somebody that's um, he, he's just an ideas guy, and and so with something like this, um, you know, him coming to dad, and then the two of them, um. Uh, kind of creating this little pilot presentation that that we shot and then tried to get off the ground and then and they shopped it around and no one in the states would you know bought it they kind of went everywhere and and as my dad always says everything happens for a reason that's sort of his motto and sometimes it's hard to see but you know having CBC the the incredible CBC pick um, this show up from the start with two seasons and really giving it the time and the space to to grow and breathe and and become what it is. It's just been like, I cannot believe that we are in our final season and only now does this happen because it's always the other way around. It's always the success right off the top and then it kind of fades out or if you're like Julie Louis-Dreyfus, you just you know, keep, keep it going. But it was just, uh, I was, I was screaming and I thought, you know, if any, if we were going to get any award, it would be Catherine. Um, oh, like also just like Catherine, like Catherine, I, Catherine O'Hara. I like, know. What I, is even, I can't, I can't, I can't just and couldn't be nicer couldn't be um couldn't be um more um supportive and and um and like giving as an actor i mean i've of course had never worked with her before and um and just working with her and seeing how how her mind works in a scene and how um you know seriously she she takes her work because Especially in a show like this, it looks like it's all fun and people are coming up with it on the cusp and um, uh, and stuff. And I and I, I just it as but much fun as it was. It was um, you know everything was scripted. There was ba barely any improv, and and she was just uh, you know just such an incredible kind of mentor along with my dad. Uh, for all of us, because we, because the rest of us were were like young and just starting out, kind of, you know. No, like, and it's honestly like, obviously, you grew up um, in a home, you know, clearly that's incredibly like creative. Your father, Eugene Levy, is like so, um, you know, s such a big <laughs> deal, and it got like it, his like work is just like you know, like uh, just out of control. And I can't even imagine like how cool it must've been growing up in a home, um, you know, with a father like that. And also like you guys clearly have it. You have that creative, um, that creative, creative energy. And like, I just, I just think like the fact that the family was together on the show. Like I remember when I found out that you and Dan were uh, siblings, I was like, yeah. so I just like, I loved it even more for that. <laughs> Um, 
And Twyla is such a cute character. Like, oh my just, gosh. She's so sweet. And like, I'm just so like, when, when you like, was that something Dan's like, oh, you're, you've got, you have like family needs to be on the show. Like, how did that even? Uh, you know, we were both, I was out, as soon as I left um, university, I moved to LA because I had my green card and uh, I sort of had to. So I wasn't really able to get my career started in Canada like so many other of my, you know, fellow Canadian actors were. So I, I went right away and I was kind of out there by myself for a little bit. Daniel was still working at MTV and um, I was, you know, auditioning and, and beginning my career as an actor. And when he came out and was writing and figuring out what he wanted to do after he left and and when they came up with this idea, I honestly had nothing. Like, they just, they wrote it, and they were like, this is who you're going to be, and this is what we're going to do. And it was, it just felt like this really fun project that we were all able to be a part of. And, and to think back at, at um, you know, as cliche as this sounds, like, just it's, it's humble beginnings I mean literally to the humble end because we were still just such a small show in our sixth season like nothing really changed except um the viewership so uh and so so you guys so the show is on um sorry you said that C uh it's on CBC in so CBC bought the show and then did they sell it to Netflix so CBC and Pop, which is the network that it was on in the States, um, did it together. And then three years into it, Net, um, Pop sold it to Netflix. Netflix. Um, and that's really what, um, you know, that's really what did it because everybody wants, everybody is watching Netflix. Nobody has cable anymore. Netflix and show. It's Literally. insane. Yeah. yeah. Netflix and show. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so where did you guys film the show? Where was the show filmed? We shot it in a little town called Goodwood, which is um, about 45 minutes outside of Toronto. And it is like, it is the sweetest little town. It is literally an intersection. And the way it's configured in the show is literally the way it's configured um, in real life. Uh, these people in this town just so generously welcomed us and, um, and you know so graciously allowed us to use their streets and close you know some stuff down from april to june and uh and by the end by like starting to our third season people would start like coming out and setting up their chairs and watching and it, oh it, nice it felt like they were they were truly a part of of the show as well so um but yeah it was this sweet little town and then we shot all the interiors um in studio so love it and yeah. why why was it called Shit's creek i'm just so like where did that name come from so it was a name that my parents at a dinner party with a friend of theirs would joke about like imagine if this i mean it's so silly but you know imagine a town called Shit's creek Shit school Shit library um you know and I think when Daniel went to dad and told him about this idea, they kind of married the two and, and the, the name was so outrageous that it made, it made sense as to why this family bought this town because owning a town named Schitt's Creek is insanity. Um, and it, it just kind of stuck. And I think they, they, they got a lot of pushback from CBC off the top. Really? Of, of, I mean, I, I, I'm not surprised. It's like, even now, even at the Emmys, they couldn't even say the word Shit's Creek without- Oh wait, I didn't even notice that. Putting Did it up on the it? screen. They didn't bleep it, but the only way somebody could get away with saying Shit's Creek was if they put the logo on the screen. Oh my God, that's hilarious. It is. And yet, like, sh shits, S-C-H-I-T-T-S, shit people exist. Like, families exist. People with last names of shit are in the phone book. So where where are these people with the last name shit? I, I know. need to meet them. I know. I know. I know. Somebody, if somebody's watching and they have a last name shit, let us know. Call the fam. I know, right? 
<laughs> so wait, so your entire family was here. How did they do the, do you, like, how did they do the Emmys? Like, obviously it must've been really hard not to be with everyone last night. No. Um, so they had, they had, um, they were going to do it. I'm, I'm switching locations for this next <laughs> They, um, they did it at Casa Loma, actually. Oh my God. I love yeah, that. they like rented whatever the little, um, the little, you know, atrium or something in the back. And they, they wanted to all be together. And um, they socially distanced, everyone got tested. And then once they were tested negative, they quarantined until Sunday. And then everybody got together and celebrated together. And, um, you know, the, those of us, Emily Hampshire is in Nova Scotia shooting something. So she wasn't able to make it. But hopefully, you know, I don't know, we're, we're hopefully next year when some awards come around. And what, like, tell me after, like, all, like, everything went down yesterday, like, what did you, were you guys just, like, FaceTime each other, like, screaming at the phone, crying for, like, hours, like? Screaming. Like, I couldn't get, I couldn't, I called my mom, I called my dad, nobody was picking up. I um, hate when that happens! <laughs> right, I finally called my brother, he picked up, and, you know, showed the room. I got to say hi and congratulations to everybody. I got to, you know, have a really nice chat with Annie after she won. Um, and it was, it was, it was crazy. Honestly, crazy. honestly, I can't even imagine what it must feel like to be in your shoes. Like, this is like the most exciting thing. And like all anyone's been talking about all day. I just want you to know everyone here, like I'm on set shooting Top Chef Canada right oh now. Oh my God, and I get, oh my God, I have so much to talk about. We have so I, much to talk oh, about. It's so cute. And, and like, it's all for anyone's talking about. I drove to work, the news, Shit's Creek. Like, this was like record breaking. Like you guys like broke records. I had no idea. Um, until the kind of the end of the night and they were saying, you know, that it was the, it was literally like literally no other comedy has ever done it. And I find that so hard to believe that it took us six years and on the sixth year we break the record. It's, you know what though, can I tell you something? It's even, it's even sweeter to get it right at the end because you know, yes, obviously, if you won at the beginning, like, super incredible. But, like, this is, like, that sweet cherry on top that you're just, like, look at what we've accomplished. And look what you guys did. Like, you tried to eat. Like, think about your story and how you guys got to where you are. And, like, Chits Creek isn't just a comedy. There's so many amazing and important things that you guys talk about. And I think it's just, like, I'm just, like, it's just amazing. It's just really oh, amazing. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, it, we went out with a bang. We went out yes. with a strong bang. And it, I couldn't have, you know, besides being there, I couldn't have asked for it to, to go, you know, any, any other way. So it's, it's, we're all just so, so, so excited. It's well, crazy. I hope, are you guys going to like, what's like, how, are, how else are you going to be able to like celebrate this? Like, are you guys like talking about, you're like, like Zoom family, Zoom champagne. I know, I know. I called my, I called my dad this morning. He was still in bed. Um, yeah, how's your dad doing? doing? What? How, how you, how's Eugene doing? How's he He's feeling? He's good. He like broke his toe the other day. What? So he, um, I, he stubbed it. it he wasn't like running or anything. Um, just walk. He was just walking around. Yeah, I was walking into the, like, you know, kitchen kitchen chair I'm sure um so last night he probably shouldn't have been on it as much as he was walking know, around because today he can't walk Oy. um so there's that but we but he's great and so excited and my mom took the phone into my brother's room because we all stay at the house when we go home Aww. as you know it's like you're all of a sudden you're 18 again um, so we, 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 she took the phone into his room and we woke him up and, uh, he was groggy and happy and, um, it, it was just, I just so, so, so wish that, you know, could have been there. You were, you're together. Thank God. It's there in spirit.
thank God for technology and where we're at right now. Honestly. So to like be a part of all that. Well, because with you too, you know, your book coming out, you, I'm sure you had a whole book tour lined up. Oh yeah. But here we are. I if know. If this wasn't the thing, then we wouldn't be able I to know. be cooking together. Eating out loud. Eating out loud. Um, okay, wait. Do you want to just check out the rights just a second? Yes, I'm okay. hearing it, and I'm I'm.